Marley. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see Sri Lanka every day, Bob Marley. Yeah, fan of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so driving a three-wheeler. As you can see, there's not a lot of space in the front. My knees are up against the dashboard. But we have the gas here. We have the gear shift and clutch here. Then we have the rear brake down here. And the handbrake is next to it. We're doing 40 kilometers an hour. So the speed limit for three wheelers in Sri Lanka is 40 kilometers an hour. We've managed to get up to 65. And that's the top speed. No faster. Yeah. All right. So we're lost. Hopefully we head to the next town and we get the right turn. So first things first, 200 cc's of unbridled power. This baby rocks. Top speed maybe. 65 kilometers going downhill with the wind at your back. And uh, in any case, you don't want to be going much faster than that one of these, because it is a three-wheeler, and uh, you have to be real careful in the corners. Um, took me a day or two to get used to, but you know, now at the end of two weeks, I'm kind of driving like a, a local. And uh, I have to tell you, one of the first things you need to understand when you drive in Sri Lanka is basically, you need to forget everything you've learned about driving, period because over here they drive differently, and uh, especially the bus drivers. Um, the bus drivers, you got to be careful. You see a bus coming, get out of the way. Look in your rear view mirror, look in your rear view mirror, see a bus coming, get out of the way. You don't mess with the bus drivers. They come from a special place. Okay, so anyways, here's my key. We have a little steering lock, which will undo. Now this down here, Okay, that's the handbrake. Okay, now the steering lock works pretty good, but you know, it's not lit, and at night time, it, it's kind of a, it's a little hard to find, but once you find it, it's effective. And uh, a couple of different areas, like one's up in Candy and uh, another place I can't remember. Uh, other tuk-tuk drivers, they said, lock, because uh, someone will take it away. All right, so basically, here we are. So, this here, okay, this is your clutch and your gears. So I'm gonna fire this baby up. So, okay, just like a motorcycle, handlebar. On the right side, you got your gas. On your left side, you got your clutch and your gears. And it's kind of like the old fashioned Lambretta. You pull your gear lever in, you pop it up, you twist it towards you, that's first gear. Let it out and away you go. Bring it in, down, that's second gear. Bring it in, down, third gear. Bring it in, down, fourth gear. And there is a reverse as well, but you, basically the reverse is the first gear, but you have an additional lever on this side, which I'm gonna have to use now to get out of here. So, in the morning, a little bit of choke. There's only one brake, and that's your foot brake down here on the right. I'm gonna give a full choke. That's us. So as you can see, right here, now to put it in the, into reverse, it's got to be in neutral, and there's a neutral light here. Pull it in. There's a lever down here on the right. You use that. And then you put it in as if you were going to put it in first. And that's it. Now if I leave it here, pop the lever down, now I'm actually in first. Okay. So you gotta know driving these things is a lot of fun. But obviously you gotta be careful as well because the traffic is uh, quite demanding. And when I say forget about everything you've learned about driving, I am not exaggerating. Here they have a different set of rules. Basically, just because you're on your side of the road doesn't mean you're safe. Because I'll tell you what, 
Everyone else uses your side as well, regardless of which direction they're going. If they want to overtake, they're going to overtake. And you have to be comfortable with getting over towards the, uh, the edge of the road, and at some times almost right off the road. If you have one of those big buses coming towards you, you don't argue. You get out of the way. All right, we're going to whip this out. We're going to go down by the canal here, and I'll show you the controls a little better, okay? This is kind of fun, though. You know, I mean, to trip around Sri Lanka in, in this uh, big red, it's, uh, it's fun. You know, and the thing is, you're open. It's great for photography. Uh, it's small, so you can maneuver in other places. But then also, when a lot of the local Sri Lankans, when they see you driving one of these, Oh, they just bust a gut. They start laughing. They think it's hilarious. Look at this big white bald guy driving a, a tuk-tuk. And uh, it's a great conversation starter. It's a great icebreaker. And uh, it's a fun way to get around the country. Albeit a very slow way. So anyways, I'm going to reverse out here. We'll go down by the canal. And uh, I'll show you the controls. I was in first and second gear, and I went through gas pretty quick. Down here on the lowlands, it's quite uh, it's quite uh, flat. And actually, you know, you can click along at 55, 60, even 65 kilometers an hour. And uh, it's 
pretty cool. So anyways, you know, I mean, you come to Sri Lanka, you can either, uh, you can get on a train, it's a lot of fun. You can get on a bus, which is uh, an adventure, okay? You can rent uh, a limo, you know, it's not so much a limo, but as a personal driver, uh, they're usually around 50 bucks a day. Uh, but the train travel and the bus travel are very cheap. I decided to get this because I'm in Sri Lanka, and you know Sam, I want to have some fun. I can't drive one of these in Canada, and uh, you know, it opens doors, it's a fun way of seeing the country, and it forces you to slow down because I mean, with the top speed of 65 kilometers an hour, you know, that, that's as fast as you're going. So it's good, you know, you can see what's going on, and I uh, really like it. I rented this in the Gombo for two and a half weeks, cost me 23 US dollars a day, which, uh, you know, I mean, you can get a car for not much more than that. But personally, I think it's, uh, hey, it's been a great adventure. And unfortunately, tomorrow I have to take it back. And, uh, I'm gonna miss my little red Vizhaji, or Big Red. Anyways, this is Scott Wilson in the Gombo. Beautiful country in Sri Lanka in my red Vizhaji. All right, here we go. So, handbrake down, bit of gas, bit of first, here we go. This thing is an absolute hoot. I love it. Did I say I love it? I wasn't kidding. I'm gonna pick you guys up. We're going for a ride. Yeah, I want to buy here and take to Canada. Yeah, no. 